Hello, dear students, and welcome to our English class. This is English for the 11th class, and today's topic is workbook and writing exercises. In uh, this lesson, we are going to deal with exercises related to modal verbs, and also we are going to deal with some exercises related to writing an essay providing solutions to problems. Let's start. In this exercise, we are going to use these models to rewrite the sentences. The first example is given. People are not allowed to sell any kind of product made of ivory. People mustn't sell any kind of product made of ivory. We see that are not allowed is replaced by mustn't. Let's look at the second example. It wasn't necessary for us to take the injured hiker to hospital. Now pay attention to the words or phrases uh, in bold. It wasn't necessary. We might say we didn't need to take the injured hiker to hospital. So we replace wasn't necessary with didn't need to. The third sentence, it's not a good idea for you to leave the tap running while brushing your teeth. Pay attention to the, again to the phrase in bold. It's not a good idea. And we say, we ought not to leave the tap running while brushing your teeth. So it's giving a suggestion or a piece of advice. The last example, everyone has a strong duty to do their part to conserve natural resources. Has a strong duty, it might be replaced with everyone must do their part to conserve natural resources. Let's move on with another exercise. Complete the sentences using the words in bold here. Use two to five words. You already know this uh, kind of, of exercises. So we uh, must use two to five words, sentence key transformation. The first one is already done. Visitors to the zoo are not allowed to feed the animals. So are not allowed is replaced by mustn't. Visitors to the zoo must not uh, give food to the animals. Let's look at the second example. It wasn't necessary for Cameron to learn the poem by heart. Pay attention to the phrase here, it wasn't necessary. So we have to use the model have and we say uh, Cameron didn't have to learn the poem by heart. We see that we have used five words. Uh, the third example, recycling household uh, waste is a good idea for all of us. Now pay attention again for is a good idea, giving suggestion and we use O2. We ought to recycle household waste. Sentence number four, it isn't necessary for George to get to work early tomorrow. So again, pay attention to it isn't necessary for George. And we have to use the keyword here, does. George does not need to get to work early tomorrow. The last example, they made Greg pay a fine for littering. You know the word fine? Job for littering, throwing litters. They made him. So he had to pay a fine for littering. Okay, let's move on with another exercise related to writing an essay providing solutions to problems. We see that, the, again, the essay consists of uh, five paragraphs and the linking words are here. We are going to complete the, set, the, the essay with these words here. Let's read the essay together. One in eight people around the world do not have access to clean drinking water. Drought, pollution, and farming all contribute to these problems. There are some simple things we can do at home to help conserve water. So we have a comma here, and we put there, however. Let's pass to the second paragraph. Again, we have a comma. We should uh, not leave taps running unnecessarily. If we turn off the taps while we are brushing our teeth, for example, we will save a surprising amount of water. So this is the first suggestion, and here we use first of all, because he's giving the first suggestion to the problem. Now we have the second suggestion, is to operate our dishwasher or washing machine only when they are full. In this way, we save both water and electricity. Uh, another helpful suggestion, so it is the second suggestion. Then we have the third suggestion, it would be a good idea to take showers instead of baths. 
A bath typically uses uh, 100 liters of water, twice as much as a shower. This means that we can cut our water consumption by at least half. So lastly, the last, so the first suggestion, the second suggestion, and the last suggestion. Then we have the conclusion we, we use to conclude. To conclude, everyone can do something, however small, to save this precious commodity. Every, every drop counts. Let's look at another exercise related to writing an essay providing solutions to problems. Read the rubric and match the solutions to their expected results. Let's read the rubric first. You have had a class discussion about deforestation. Your teacher has asked you to write an essay discussing ways of solving the problem. 140 to 190 words. Write about recycling, planting drinks, and your own idea. The first one is recycled paper and uh, its result is see fewer trees will need to be cut down uh, the second uh, solution is urge governments to introduce uh, stricter penalties for illegal logging logging uh, is preria e druve illegale and its uh, result is uh, logging companies close down for cutting down trees illegally and the last uh, solution is planting trees, which goes with uh, B, uh, reforestation. Not deforestation, reforestation. Now, next exercise, you, uh, as a homework, it will be a homework. You use your answers on the right and the plan below to write your essay. So uh, you might use these ideas, these solutions, and these expected results to write an essay providing solutions to the problem. Also, Remember to follow the plan here by writing a five paragraph essay. So in the first paragraph you are going to state the topic and its cause, the, to state the problem and its causes. In the second, in the third and in the fourth paragraph you are going to write suggestions, three suggestions and three results, while in the last paragraph you are going to summarize your opinion. That was all for today. Thank you for your attention.